Hello everybody, Bilbo Swaggins here, we're back with it, and we are doing Keeper today. We're gonna unlock Crooked Penny even, and that means we're going to Delirium. So, strap yourselves in, we are probably gonna take this hush, and we are probably just gonna go straight Delirium, and get our boy, our final Zane item that lets us rig runs. That's a pretty good first item, I'll take him. He's not bad, he's part of the conjoined, and he does good damage himself. He might even be more consistent DPS than we are. But anyways, how's everyone's day been? Hopefully it's been pretty good. Now, as you're all well aware, you probably know the date by now because I Lazy Map Man sent a message. Everybody probably sent the message. Every Isaac Tuber on the planet has probably talked about it because I'm a day late, not from my perspective, but I'm a day late from your perspective, which is the important part. Now, the update for the Isaac Online or Repentance Plus as it is dubbed is on the 18th. So two weeks from today but tomorrow for you guys so it's about two weeks it's gonna be 13 days so strap yourselves in we're gonna prob i'm gonna try and have work off for that day so that we can do a full stream a full stream i i don't know i don't know the length of that stream but it will be a full stream probably six hours maybe eight hours depends how long i want to play it and we'll do online if you guys want to hop in join together play up with me we can probably do that um yeah, there's a bunch of crazy stuff coming with it. There's going to be online. There's going to be balance changes. There's going to be probably synergies and stuff, as it's rumored. I'm sure other people have talked about it now, but you know what? I'll rehash it, because maybe, maybe you don't watch them. But balance changes, synergies, online. That's what we know. But the update is quite literally called Repentance Plus. So who actually knows what's in stock here? Because that is a crazy name to drop for such, a, such an update. Like, I, you know proper online multiplayer is crazy right but repentance plus is kind of insinuates it's a whole dlc package but it is free we know this edmund clarified i don't know we'll, we'll see what happens this is unprecedented territory for isaac it could be i thought that was lost fly for a second it's okay you know what i'll take best bud too it's one out of three for Bezelbub. it'll help us later down the line uh cook this man but yeah, we'll see what the update entails. Now, I am interested in doing collabs, so if you are an Isaac Tuber and you watch my content, and uh, hit me up. I don't know. Hit me up. Now, I'm going to also try and hit up other people as well, slowly but surely. Probably not within the next couple weeks, but listen, I'm new to the whole YouTube thing in general. So I got to figure out how I do collabs, how I go about getting into like, uh, you know, a YouTube friend community thing i don't know you see them all the time right like you, you'll see like uh just random youtubers that duo up or trio up or just have their own big groups you'll see vtubers who are like duos and stuff you know like there's whole there's whole shebangs here and i think that as a content creator is a pretty important step to take in terms of growing and also branching out because as i've said in pro the last couple episodes I intend to do more variety-based stuff, right? Now, obviously, Isaac never stops. Well, it will stop probably one day, but, you know, it's kind of like the NL thing where it's like, yeah, it'll stop one day, but, like, the, the, that day is uh, far away. That day is far away because I like Isaac. I like Isaac a lot. It would take a lot for me to get bored of Isaac. Um, and, you know, Isaac 2 is still theoretically on the table. Oh, my God. Is that a golden poop? Don't mind if I do. But Isaac 2, you know, it's, it's theoretically on the table. Edmund even talked about it recently in a Twitter post, I think. He said, yeah, I'll think about it in, like, five years. So it's like, you know, hey, Isaac 2 in five years. <laughs> Not actually, but, you know, he still entertains the idea. So it's definitely still possible. But, yeah, I, I, I intend to branch out. So if you're, like, a YouTuber... Or an Isaac Tuber, and I mean a YouTuber, not like I have 10 subs and I made a video 10 years ago. I mean like a YouTuber, because that's an important clarification here, because I intend to get together with other YouTubers to make content, because that I, I feel like that's the way to go, right? I, I feel like the days of like early YouTube of like being a solo dude, like your soul, like Lazy Matman, for example, solo, but he still cla collabs with random people and stuff, but like... The days of being solo and just kind of like, you know, I'm going to buy this, by the way, because we're just going to go devil deals. But being solo and be like, I'm I'm PewDiePie and I don't do anything with anybody. I am just popular because I, I, I mean, back then, YouTube was a much smaller community. Right. And since he was good at what he did, he was able to just skyrocket out of control 
with no interference whatsoever because it was easier then. But today, you probably should, you know, collab. You should get with other people. You should get a group. Yada yada. But I don't know how to do that yet. But since I am about a year in now of doing these videos, I feel like it is an important time to start going, all right, I have the basics of YouTube down. I should probably learn more and do more things better because I don't know. That That's always been my philosophy, philosophy bleh, with videos is try to always make the next video better, do something, think of better ideas. Now, with Daily Isaac uploads, obviously, there's only so much you can do because it's like, listen, I, I can't, I, there's, I feel like there's a limit to how far I can take videos and, like, stretch them to be better <laughs> because I, I feel like it comes down to how well I talk, which I, I feel like I've improved upon a lot because if you ever look at my first uh, Isaac video, listen, um, I don't like to, I don't like to look at that video because I, I look back at it and I'm like, man. I was bad at that. <laughs> I was bad at that, but you gotta start somewhere. All right, so like, if you are ever a YouTuber too, or you're thinking about becoming a YouTuber, don't worry about being bad at the start. I'm still bad, and I'll probably, I'll probably look down a year down the line, I'll look at this exact video, and I'll be like, oh God, what was I doing? Like, oh, why are you talking like that? Or, ooh, bro, what, you're being too quiet. I don't know. Obviously though, I feel like I'm, I'm doing good enough because there's a lot of people that watch me now at this point. I, I have a lot of YouTube analytics and stuff now that just kind of like, I don't know, it's mind-boggling stuff. Like, a lot of people watch me a lot. A lot of people tune in a lot. A lot of people watch me for times I, I feel like are just incomprehensible to me. It, it's kind of crazy. I, I feel like I would never end up here, but here I am. Uh, but, like, just to put in perspective, my high school had a population of about a thousand people right and the amount of people that now tune into me and are considered a returning viewer to the youtube analytics is it's six times that high school amount and i think about that and i'm like imagine talking to my entire high school daily but times that by six that seems incomprehensible to me because it's like that i i feel like i would like shit myself with how like scary that is as a concept because it's just like, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of fucking people. And I know it's like, I'm not like, you know, no Markiplier over here. And I've got like 3 million views every single day. But like, that's, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. Uh, I need money real quick before I die. Uh, I wanted to get that chest, but I'm a dingus. And I ran into the spikes because I'm a dingus. Was there money up here? Any potential money? Uh, no. <laughs> Ooh, no. Hold on. It wasn't worth. God damn it. We, uh, we put all our HP into the sacrifice room, and now we're like, uh-oh, what do we do now? Where is the secret room? You're right here. Secret room, you're right there. HP. Thank you. Um, I, I want to play the sacrifice room. Why not, right? We can get an angel item. I feel like it's a good idea. Just don't bring ourselves down to one again. Okay, we didn't get the angel deal's chance, but if these guys drop money, it's still on the table. Okay, nothing. Come on. Come on. Don't just give me spiders. Okay, money. We're going back. Hold on. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. I think we have enough for the angel deal chance. Oh, now we definitely do. Okay. Well, we can play it the whole way now. We might even get money. Oh, yeah, we're going to get redemption guaranteed. I forgot about that. Well, that's actually good for us because that is going to potentially let us get a lot more damage ups here, which is going to be pretty important, I think, for fighting Delirium. Because we do need to be quite OP here to beat Delirium, I feel. And I am going to grab the key piece here as well because I don't know. Uh, I guess I don't know. There's no reason really to, right? <laughs> I guess there really is no reason to grab this. If I had a way to reroll... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Ooh, we got the money. Nice. Okay, we can play some shop shenanigans. And having money in this run is going to be really good. Because it means... It means that we are going to be able to buy from our shops. We're going to go to the hush. We're going to have money for the hush shop. Should be pretty easy. Should be pretty easy. We pop down. Arena, I don't care about you. I could have looked in there and seen if it was like a gold chest at least. But still don't care. We kill this man. Do you spawn minions? I, I can never remember if Gertie Jr. spawns minions. I'm going to have to bomb stop him, I think. Because he's a, a little bit of a menace right now. Yikers. Uh, tears up. No money. Oh, that's bad. 
That's bad. Yikes. <laughs> uh, grab Guppy's Collar. We'll also grab False PhD. I don't know. It seems like a good idea. Uh, we're going to go down. At least we have a potential revive now. I feel like that's a good idea to have as a backup. I wish we had nine lives. Nine lives would be better right now. But yeah, I mean, going back to the topic of like, I don't know, the mind bogglingness of YouTube. I, I feel like it, it's kind of crazy, right? I don't know. You just don't ever think you're going to, I feel like, not like, I, I not to be like a Debbie Downer, but like succeed. But I feel like I've at least, you know, I, I've succeeded in regards that I think I didn't, I wouldn't succeed in. You know what I mean? Having like consistent viewerships the way I do right now is just like, it's like, I didn't even think I would get that far. I didn't even think I would get that far. And let alone right now, yeah, I'm not bragging or anything. I'm not bragging because it's not even brag worthy level thing. But like, I actually make money. Now it's a, it's a negligible amount of money. It's a negligible amount of money from YouTube. But it's like, I never even thought I would make a, like more than pennies off YouTube. And I, I don't know, it just, it seems crazy to me. I, I, I just feel like, I, I didn't think, it's kind of like the meme where he's like, the dude's like flirting with the lady, and it's like, I don't, she's like, she's really into it, and he's like, okay, let's go back to my house. And the dude's like, I didn't think I'd get this far. <laughs> I didn't think I'd get this far. I don't know, man, it's kind of crazy to me. You know what? I, I kind of like that we got the magnet, by the way, because that means we're going to be able to, like, we don't even need flight. We'll just, we'll get all the consumables regardless. But, I don't know. It, it's crazy. And it's crazy now that I have to start thinking about collabs if I want to, like, keep growing. Because, let's put it this way. So, I, I guess I'll actually do, like, a little bit of, like, my own thoughts here. My own thoughts. So, we look at the eyes of community, right? It's a fairly substantial community, but I feel like it's only the biggest it ever was right i think was when repentance first came out but you look at other youtubers and you'd be like lazy Matman. he's got a lot of subs right he's got a lot of subs now his i i, I feel like he is definitely the isaac guy right now before it would have been northern lion for sure but right now he's the isaac guy there is no other guy like him Huts is pretty damn close, but he, Lazy Matman still has the man beat. I don't know how Lazy Matman has done it. The man succeeded in some ways that I just, I can't comprehend exactly why he did. Maybe it's because he started shortly after Repentance came out. But like, the dude, he's, he's, the, he's the peak. But I'll take Sack of Sacks. Um, I think the realistic thing here to look at is, is there is a limited amount of growth in Isaac, right? And it's not like... Oh, but it sounds like you're not doing this for fun. Isaac is a game I think that you just infinitely return to. I think that's how most people play this game. Like, they go, oh, I guess I'll play some Isaac today. That's why, like, the game remains as popular as it is. But the actual community around Isaac, like, the community that sits here and goes, I am the Isaac Stan of Isaac Stans. That is a not a very big community. I feel like the Isaac Stan of the Isaac Stans is probably, like, less than 5,000 people. So, like, there is not a lot of space to grow in the Isaac, in just Isaac. Even though, you know, you see Lazy Matman and he's big. Huts, for example. That man does not do just Isaac, right? Albino, he does not do just Isaac. Lazy Matman's the only one that does it, and to be honest, I think he's just hit a gold mine of where he's just the Isaac guy. So when you look up Isaac, that's the dude who's on the top of the page. He's the top of the man. He's the. He, it's because his content's good too, by the way. Now listen, the the clickbait practices done by Lazy Matman, maybe, 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 you know, t stretching a meme a little thin there. But you know what? He's free to do whatever he wants. If it works, it works. I'm not gonna blame the man. You know, that man is raking in dough. That man is raking in dough. And you know what? I respect it. But like, you, you, you can't you can't beat that guy because he is he's the top of the list guy. If you want to beat Lazy Matt, man, if you want to be like the Isaac guy, you got to be on the top of the list. And I don't know how you would do this at this point. You would have to be like the PewDiePie of like <laughs> Isaac. And I, I don't know. I think it takes a natural talent to do something like that. I feel like it's like, that's something that you you need an innate skill for as well. Fuck. 
I'll take it. I didn't need to use a bomb. I'm a, I'm a silly little goose. I forget Magnet opens these things, even though I just saw it happen in front of me. We're slowly getting more and more damage ups, by the way, which is really nice. The pill idea was good. We just never care about our luck, and we keep spamming luck down pills. <laughs> Honestly, it's not even a bad idea. If we're going to go damage, may as well go all the way. If we keep stacking up damage, we win, no matter what. I really want a planetarium, by the way. I don't I don't know why we haven't gotten one yet. 25% chance. Still haven't seen one. But yeah. I guess I'm just kind of broadening the concept here of like, understand, I, I will keep expanding and doing more things and as I collab and do I'll take that. That's pretty cool. It's a nice little tears up too. But you know, I'll, I'll keep expanding. I'll do more things. I might even start more series where I actually commit to them and I keep doing them. But it's, it's going to be things like... It's got to be games that I really like to play, right? Because I think the most important thing as a YouTuber and just as a person in general, do the things you enjoy. Don't just do the trend of the week because it's the trend of the week. I feel like that's how you get stuck in a an endless like grind of like, I don't know, content slop where it's like, I, let, let's take a good example right now. So right now there's that AI generated Minecraft right now that's going around, which it's cool. It's cool. And I might make a video on it, but probably not. Just because it's like, listen, I would play that for a max of five minutes and then that's it. It's not that interesting. I feel like since everybody else has done it, unless you're a big, big, big YouTuber, there's no point in doing something like that because you're just going to be another, another mark in the infinite void of everybody else copying it because the bigger YouTubers already did it. I got to stop dropping these bombs. So I, I don't want to be like one of those content trend chasers because it's it's lame. But if it's a game I like, and it, it, even if it is a, you know, a trend of the week, like let's say it's Lethal Company, right? Which was a trend of like a month basically, but it was still a trend. I would play it because I enjoy that game a lot. That game is really, really fun to come back to. But like, I want to play that. Um, I'm a believer. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. Uh, hit it again. And then we leave the room. I want to have HP on demand if I'm going to do that. I just feel like, you know, you got to do content you enjoy. And right now, for example, if you're just like really super curious, like what games does Bill play when he's not playing Isaac? Which obviously I don't play Isaac in my free time because I reserve all the time playing Isaac for videos because otherwise I think I would burn myself out because... I can play a run a day of Isaac. That is not a problem because I'm a big gamer. I, I can just, I, I hop on my computer. I play games. It's what I do. But if I played Isaac outside of the time I do videos, I would so quickly burn out because listen, that's too much Isaac. That's too much Isaac for one little man. That's too much Isaac for my brain. And I would probably start getting frustrated with things and stuff, but like, Content I do, or sorry, content. <laughs> it's not content, but games I do outside of we could go conjoined here. Is like right now, big game I play, Deadlock, which you maybe maybe if you've watched Northern Line because I know there's cross viewers ship there. Um, damn, I was hoping for money. Um, if you watch Northern Line, you've seen him play Deadlock, right? You if you know what the game is, you know what the game is. It's basically a MOBA, but it's a third person shooter hero shooter kind of weird mix up really fun game super addicting i probably get too mad at that game but you know it is what it is when it comes to competitive games like that i get heated i get heated you saw me dying as tarnished isaac or tainted isaac to unlock tarnished isaac yeah i get heated probably more than that i i'm a little bit of a rage gamer when it comes to the competitive shooters but uh, in, in terms of that, I don't know. I just kind of play whatever, like, my group is playing at the time. Like, friend group. It, it, it's not like any particular, like, game. I feel like since I've played games for so long at this point, there's games I come back to, and then there's games that just come out, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll play that. Like, Sparking Zero came out, and I bought that, and I played it, and I, I played it in my own free time because, listen, there's probably not so many weebs and other, you know, anime enjoyers in my viewership that it would warrant a video. Maybe I would make like a, like a stream on it, but since I don't stream right now, I mean, 
I don't, I, I can't really, I mean, I could, I could just post a random video of Sparking Zero. I don't even know how to make a video on Sparking Zero, because, you know, there's a certain finesse, there's like a certain flow you want in the video. I don't even know how to do it in that, so like, I don't know, I feel like it wouldn't be even worth doing it at that point. Hop into here. I will take Common Cold, that's a nice little damage up when it procs. But like, kind of interested in doing Monster Hunter stuff. But we'll see, we'll see. I don't know. We take Habit because that's basically like Gimpy. We hope that wouldn't nickel procs though, but you know what? Still take it, it's a good idea. We got a bunch of money in here. Don't even care if I get hit. I just feel like, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about stuff a lot. I'm thinking about stuff and I'm thinking about what I want to do. I think collab, absolute biggest priority. I just don't know how, how I go about doing that. But hey, if you are a YouTuber, hit me up. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. But we'll see. We'll see. I mean, at this point, you'll know I probably am starting to become, like, super serious at YouTube once you see, like, a sponsorship or something. If you see a sponsorship from me, just know at that point I probably hit the, like, point where I've gone, like, full serious mode. Or if I say, like, I'm going full-time on YouTube, which I, I, I cannot right now because that... Listen, YouTube... I like the little extra money it gives me. It is not that much money, though. <laughs> Listen, I, I have bills to pay. I have bills to pay. I would love to not work, but that, that is not where we're at yet. Uh, we take Polaroid. There is boss rush to be seen. No. Mom's hand, you need to come down right now. 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 Cool. Check in here. Ooh, that is very good, though. That is super good. That is super good. I can't pass up on that. That is way too good to pass up on. With conjoin, that's a lot of tears we're firing out. If we get homing, if we get homing. Ooh, careful. If we get homing though, holy, holy, holy crap. That is a lot of damage we've just gotten. And we still have redemption and the false PhD for more damage ups, which is just gonna scale with the damage multiplier. Ooh, baby. Oh, baby, if we get homing. If we get homing. Plus, we have Habit here to really help us out, too. This is a good build. We could probably beat Delirium with this, I would say. If this other item here ends up being good, too, hot damn. But yeah, I, I think that's enough ranting about, like, or not even ranting, <laughs> just talking about, like, my, my side of YouTube things. I, I feel like I don't know. Let's talk about the update, right? Let's talk about the update coming. Because, listen. So, I I, I don't know how... Uh, let, let, okay, let's drop backstory, honestly. Let's drop backstory to this. Because if you were if you were paying attention to the drama around the Isaac Online beta, it got taken down because we used to be able to play it during certain times of the month. And basically, data miners started data mining stuff, and people on the dev team did not like that. Um, I think it was maybe specifically Tyrone. I think it was him who got uh, mad about it. But maybe I'm wrong about that, so don't quote me on it. Obviously, I can be wrong about things. I'm not like one of those debate bro YouTubers who are like, Oh, yeah, quote me on anything. I I'm not a quotable person. <laughs> I'm not a quotable person. But, like, maybe it was Tyrone, and he got mad about it, so they took down the beta. And it is because stuff that was probably not supposed to be seen was, like, data mined. And they were not happy about it. So, I, I, I guess I'm like, I don't know if it's like ethical to talk about this because now I'm talking about it, but it's public information. I don't care. It's public information. Basically, there was game modes and stuff and like, I think there was like a weird timed wave survival thing or something. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Wave survival thing as a mode as well that was in the like data mine files. There was a bunch of other stuff. And it was like, this is not merely just online stuff. This was, like, stuff that was perhaps, like, planned for a DLC. And since the update itself is called Repentance Plus, it is very possible that this DLC or update is DLC level update. But maybe Edmund's hiding it. I don't know. I, I feel like it would be a fitting time. 10th anniversary for Rebirth, making a very big free update would be kind of dope. Don't know if he, that's what he's doing. Whoa! What are you talking about? That's insane! Holy shit! We drop a cluster bomb when we fucking fire now. 
Okay. We get homing, we win. I mean, at that point, nothing in the game survives. I mean, even right now, I think every room just dies. Re oh, thank you, redemption. Um, that's a lot of damage. Holy shit. Sun card, we proc it, we just see where we're going. The sun. But yeah, I I don't know. This this update might be massive. I I I don't know. Just my own thoughts on it. I think there is a decent chance this update is crazy big. Like, it, it'll be like a fucking crazy surprise for everybody. Because Repentance Plus has got to be the most sus update name known to man. That's got to be crazy to just say and then just have online. Because online's really cool, but we've all seen it at this point. Repentance Plus does not even justify that name. Repentance Plus is like... Bro, Repentance is already quite the title to drop because that was... I mean, as we all know, the craziest update in Isaac. I mean, Repentance is by far the best update Isaac has ever seen ever. And like, we're talking like Flash Isaac to Rebirth. Flash Isaac to Rebirth was probably the second craziest thing we've seen. But like, Repentance was actually the craziest thing we've seen. Because it was such a jump in everything. So much content, so much everything. Dark Prince Crown does not work. Well, it, I think it will work, but maybe it won't. I can't remember if our coin hearts count as hearts. We'll take it, whatever. It might come into relevance, we'll see. If we get Holy Mantle and then it actually works at one HP, that'd be cool. Uh, Planetarium, 45%, by the way, and it's just like, what am I supposed to do with this knowledge? Can we even get Planetariums on this floor? I think I asked in one of our runs recently. I don't know still. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe. That's money, that's petrified poop. I would like to get to that. I don't think we can, though. Speed down for a little extra damage. I'll take it. We're still one speed. Literally has no bearing on anything. Oh, you don't drag runes? How did I not know this? Maybe I did know this. Actually, hold on. Does this work? Or do you just want me to take damage to get across? You want me to take damage to get across. Okay, I don't care. Um, well, grab all this. I'm okay with the money because the money means that we are going to be stocked up for hush here. But yeah, I don't know. Update. Crazy. Get, 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 I don't know. Get ready in a couple weeks because it's going to get crazy. It's going to get crazy, crazy. I don't know what's going to happen. It, it might just be crazy, crazy. It might just be like crazy, crazy, crazy. You know what I mean? Like it might be blowing everybody out of proportion here. But I would also say set your expectations to be realistic because if it is just the online stuff, it's not like we didn't like... What the fuck? Whoa. Anyways, what I was going to say, set your expectations to be just online stuff and balance tweaks because that is what we've been told. Community conjecture is just community conjecture. Never forget that. Never hype yourself up just to be saddened by the lack of content. Be glad we're still getting updates on a 10-year-old game. Tiny Toma, I'll take it. He blocks tears, I'm pretty sure, if I recall. Can't remember off the top of my head. I will take Mom's key as well, which I didn't open those chests yet, but you know, it is what it is. Jumper cables as well, getting us free charges of wooden nickel. That's going to be helpful as well. We might get a crawl space here. This is a crazy finish to the build. I mean, the build's not even fully done. Woo! We got it. Nice. We've been a little unlucky recently with the, the hush. Woo! It's more damage. But like... Yeah, we're looking pretty good at this point. We're looking pretty good at this point. I don't think Hush can survive this. Uh, I was a little worried about our HP situation because Hush is quite hard to beat. But uh, no, we're good. No, we're good. We're good. I wish I had Magician Card right now because Magician Card with the current setup would be a little, a little good. I don't even have to hit him. I'm just, I, I hit in a random spot in the room and it hits him anyways. Kill him. Phase one's actually a little annoying because he's firing those curved tiers and I don't exactly know their trajectory off like muscle memory. Okay, get ready to dodge a little bit. And dodge, dodge, dodge. Drop a coin because when we get hit, we're going to get a habit charge back. So may as well have it ready. Because I, I do think we're probably going to get hit here still. I feel like it's a high ass chance. Kill this man. If we had piercing right now, too, that would also be really crazy for the DPS because all those tears would be going through. Which help even more once he spawns minions and stuff. If he gets to that point, he might not. Nope, well, there's minions. Had to say something. 
Okay, get ready for these tears. They're quite annoying. Yikes. Okay, we're good. That is why I pre-popped it. It's very hard to see his, like, splitting tears from my splitting tears. They look almost exactly the same. And I, So, I think one of you recently said this, by the way. I do have the contrast tears on. Or, no, I didn't. Oh, my God. I had it on. Maybe that changed at some point. I, I did have that on at one point. I know what you're talking about when you were talking about that. Mr. Commenter that I'm talking to, because you probably are seeing this right now. He's like, I said that. <laughs> yes, you. You. <laughs> uh, I had it on. I guess you noticed that I didn't have it on. And that's why you said that. I thought I had it on. Maybe, maybe it is easier to see now. It definitely is a different color. Good thing I checked. Even still, I, I think I would be getting confused with this, this amount of tears. I, I don't think there's time to see the different, like, contrasts in the tears here. Jill? We actually got a secret room immediately? Oh, wow. Nice. I'll take it. I guess I didn't have to pop the old moon card. In the back here. Oh, oh my god. Ooh. Jesus. What hit me twice? Uh, we still have Guppy's Collar as backup here, by the way, but I, I don't want to rely on Guppy's Collar, if possible. Kindly, don't rely on Guppy's Collar. Grab the HP. Um, We should be going for non-delirium rooms here. We have a moon card, so we can pop out of delirium's room if we end up in it early. So let's just pop into rooms. Fred, you're going to die quick. Uh, it's not very good, but Beezlebub would be nice to get. It would be nice to get. It would be quite nice. I would like bomb immunity right now. This seems to be hitting us often. Uh, are you delirium? You are delirium. You looked like a delirium type room right when I walked up. I was like, that looks like delirium if I've ever seen delirium. Okay. Cook this man. Don't even give him a second to breathe. Bro just got evaporated. Okay, get ready for the dodges. And he is dead. Bomber boy? I guess I'll take you. I don't really care for you, though. Bomber boy, bomber boy. It's not a very good bomb effect, I feel. It ends up self-damaging a lot. Unless you have, like, bomb immunity. Main thing I'm worried about here is we don't have any defensive items, which is kind of actually really scary. Tears down, we do not want that. We want tears up right now. Tears down is the last thing we want. We have a devil skull game. We have a chest in here, but I have no flight. Maybe we can get some flight. Gerties. Chest. Cool. Bunch of free coins. We know these aren't delirium. Hook this man. Uh, Beezlebub. Hey, there you go. Not bad. I'll take a free Beezlebub. Hey, it's a revive. That's sick. Nice. That's super helpful. Inner, uh, inner child is a, uh, it's a buff to our stats too, right? It's been a while. I, I think we only got it once in Dead God 1. So it's been quite a while since I've seen it. Um, plus one life upon death. Response Isaac. Plus two speed. Massive size down. I thought it gave you more stats. I guess it's just a speed up. Oh well. But yeah, I know you get it, by the way, when you do tainted characters and you go in the uh, closet room. I just, you know, I don't typically do that because I don't care. Feels like a lot of times I fight Beast as a tainted character and not in danger. But I guess if I'm like tainted Lazarus, I could do it. Black Bean. What the hell do you think this is? Black Bean. I don't want that garbage. Look, this man. Well, I would say there's a high chance here we're getting Crooked Penny. I would say there's a very high chance Crooked Penny is incoming. Hop up here. Cool. Go over to the right. There might still be one boss room left. Which would be very, very cool. 30 minutes in, and by the way, we have almost the entire Void Floor clear. This was a quick run. I was not making a quick run. It just happened. Uh, we don't want range down, to be honest. That seems like a bad thing to have. 
power card, range down. I know it's like, but the damage. Uh, meh. Meh? Uh, not for that level of damage. If it were more, maybe. The range down is going to be helpful when we fight. Or sorry, the range ups are going to be helpful right now when we fight Delirium. Because he could basically be anywhere in the room. It's very hard to track Delirium sometimes. If I can get a Magician card, that'll make me happy. Because Magician will absolutely ensure we just win. Kill this man, please. Uh, what were those cards, by the way, in that room? Was it a tower card? I think it was a tower card. I should be paying attention to what cards are on the ground. Uh, that's, a, that's a very good point, Bill. Hop down here. Maybe there's not another boss room, by the way. Perhaps not. Perhaps not. Go over here. I would like a magician card. Bad trip. Don't care. That just injures us with no HP back. Nothing. I already got secret room. I'm never going to find super secret room. I mean, I could. I've probably already seen it, but like... Eh, on Void, it's hard. There's so many potential spots. I And a lot of the times, it's not worth unless you absolutely are farming for an R key. And we don't really have a way to farm for an R key right now, so I don't care. I don't have a way to farm for it, so I don't think it matters in the slightest. Range down again. Don't care. Don't explode my bomb flies. I might need you. You never know. What was this card? Uh, it was a tower. Okay. I don't care then. Whoa! Um, over here. Give me cards that are good. Give me cards that are good. Money. We can play the Demon Judgment. We have plenty of money. Plenty of money to do this. Hit it again. Okay. He paid out with euthanasia. That's actually insane. Euthanasia is crazy with our current build. Because euthanasia tiers copy your tier. So, ooh, AWAS as well. Well, don't mind if I do. But yeah, euthanasia copies your tiers and your damage and everything. So, like, wow, it's a black market. That could be crazy good. Uh, membership card room. Does that work in here? It does not. Okay. Well, that's a little lame. Card. Oh, baby! Let's go! Hell yeah! Magician card. Perfect timing. Oh, uh, we won. We won. I mean, come on. Come on, we won. That was a good finish to the run. I'm that confident. Magician is quite literally... It wins the game for us. I mean... Because all those shots that are missing right now are probably at least half of them are going to come back and hit him. So, on top of the tears going towards him in the first place, it, making us not have to aim at all. Now the split tears and the, the cricket's body tears are all going to come for him as well. So, there was no other boss rooms over there, but we did get a magician card for our troubles. And we got a cool black market. That was a pretty good finish. That was a pretty good finish. Let's go in here and kill this man. I do think this might be a quick kill, but we shall see. We shall see. Pop it. Bite this man. Inner Child is an in-room revive, right? I think it is. I think it is. We got to be careful of the tears here. Luckily, they're purple as hell and his are white as hell, so we can kind of see the difference. Wow, look at that damage. Look at all the tears that are, like, coalescing around him. That's crazy. My god, the tears are like jumping around. Oh, imagine if we had flat stone right now. Dude, that would be crazy because they would actually be jumping around. Which I think would just make the homing effect that much better. He's dead. Wow. What a clean delirium kill. By the way, I, effect I, I changed the bitrate settings a little bit because delirium's always given me this problem of making the bitrate fuck up so we'll see if that actually fixed it i have no idea it might still be like the bitrate is like it's just too fucking powerful it's too powerful but we got crooked penny um yeah that was really sick that was really really sick that was a crazy good run keeper you've been like giving me w's right now and i appreciate that keeper i appreciate that but anyways guys thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one Peace.